right, good morning, folks. On this Monday, I want to do a little bit of uh, talking about the trailer and how we set up everything. A few things that we still got to add. Um, as you can see, we've only got one rack for all of our shovels and rakes. It's a little crowded. Uh, soon, we're going to get some more add-ons for that. Um, as we've talked about before, we always keep cones with us. Um, a lot of guys that I see posting on social media uh, talking about push mowers. Uh, we've just got a regular snapper, Briggs & Stratton. It's a Walmart brand. Really good self-propelled mower. 21-inch uh, front-wheel drive. Uh, really does good for what we need it for. There's no point of going out here and buying Toro and all this crazy stuff and spending, you know, like a grand on a push mower. Spend you a couple hundred bucks, you know, get the job done. That's all you need. I mean, we're just cutting grass. Uh, as we mentioned before, we've got the uh, bad boy mowers. Uh, this is the Revolt. Um, this are 48 inches on both of these. We absolutely love this brand of mower. Um, I don't think we'll ever decide to own anything else unless they absolutely go out of business. Um, you know, furthermore, mine has the Kawasaki. Uh, the wife has the Kohler. Um, we could have gotten the Kawasaki on that one, um, but it was, you know, quite a bit of a price difference for the same horsepower engine. Uh, the Revolt only comes with the Kawasaki, so therefore, uh, there's really no option to have a Kohler. Um, which, with this type of style, you want a Kawasaki because it's uh, a little bit more torqueier than a Kohler is. Kohler's good on a long demand. Uh, Kawasaki is good for slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, speeding up kind of a situation. Uh, and this setup is a little bit more uh, center weighted and stuff like that. Uh, we've got the advanced chute systems uh, that we use on both of our mowers. Uh, the wife has got just a manual uh, rod pull. Uh, mine, as you can see, has a, a cable addition. This is a new 2021 um, style that they have come out with the revolt as far as i know this is the only one that will fit the revolt um you know this one is we bought it straight from bad boy um you know the manufacturers uh they sell the, the shoot blocker which is all advanced shoot systems um but it has to come directly from bad boy because as far as i know i haven't found it yet on the web um we're running a 14 foot trailer uh soon we are going to upgrade to a little bit bigger of a trailer um, but this right now does what we need to do as you'll see on the other side But as you'll see uh, we've just got a regular uh, Lowe's water cooler uh, doesn't have to be nothing fancy uh, the bracket that we bought are on Amazon. Um, these can bolt up to a flat cage style like you've got on the grate right here. If you've got side racks and stuff like that, uh, this is really a good universal piece. It was only like 25 bucks. I'll try to post the link in, uh, below. Also on the U-Jugs, a lot of guys uh, go back and forth on these. Um, therefore, you can buy the VP racing style which is, you're basically paying for the name. We got these at Tractor Supply, they're like 20 bucks a jug, guys. Five gallons a piece, they work the same as the VP style. This is a VP, um, you know, crate style um, holder that you can either put in an enclosed or you can put in an open trailer like this. I've just got it bolted uh, to the actual rails of this. And then I drilled some holes and actually put just a regular cheap old bungee strap in here just to keep from everything bouncing around, making sure nothing comes out. Uh, as we showed before, we've got up under here, this is our bracket for our All-American Sharpener that we can be able to be mobilized uh, so I can be able to mount right here, get our blade sharpened, and uh, move on with the day. Uh, on this, we've got an older Husqvarna uh, backpack blower. Uh, this is the 150BT. Uh, really good blower. It's older, but it does the job. No issues. Uh, starts up and runs like a brand new one. Uh, on here, I always keep our jungle jack with us. This is a good mobile unit. Uh, you can use this in a shop, but you can also use this on the go. We use this basically, so if I need to pop the mowers up, sharpen the blades, clean out from under the deck or something real quick, uh, or get tied up in some string or anything of that nature, 
Uh, this is something really good and efficient. Uh, these are around 200 to 250 depending on where you get them. I'll also post a link for that as well. Um, one of the other things that are really handy, uh, this is our edging machine. I know a lot of guys out there, we do have one that runs on the trimmers, um, but efficiency wise, something a little bit more horsepower. Uh, this is actually, the chassis of this is actually a Craftsman unit, which had a super old style, like 1980s, um, four horse engine on it that was the old style, traditional, long barrel carbureted. Uh, just, you can't even get parts for them, so it was too much of an issue. Went to Harbor Freight, spent 150 bucks, got a brand new three and a half horsepower engine to put on here. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see down here, uh, it does have a fabricated plate. Uh, right here is the engine block. Here is another plate that will actually mount uh, as a as a bigger block style because this is a smaller block. So it will mount exactly where a five horse will traditionally mount. Um, like I said, this is an old Sears chassis. Um, got this from a guy that used to do landscaping. Uh, this one is just like the one that you can see on Amazon that you can buy. The one on Amazon is a little bit sturdier uh, chassis, a little bit harder metal, but this one doesn't flex or anything. Uh, you've got angle changes as we'll do a video of edging later on but this one uh, you can go all the way you know up to a 45 degree cut <clears throat> and then you can do uh, 45 on one direction but you can only do 15 uh, both directions so that way if you're depending on whichever way the grass and stuff is turning right there at that area um, then you can be able to get it how you want it on the trimmers uh, we've got one that's actually in the shop uh, I think we're having some electronic issues with the other one that we have, but we, the other one is an exact match to this one. Um, you know, this one is the 56RC, uh, really good. A lot of guys don't really like to use these because they claim these are residential units, uh, but we use these on a daily basis uh, for the price. I mean, these are like 220 bucks, guys. These are really good, budget friendly. Um, we love them, like I said, and I've been running this one, uh, this one, is uh we bought this last year which i know it doesn't look like it uh but this one's only a little over uh a year old year and a half old really good unit no issues the other one uh we're having uh from what the dealer had said i think that the ignition module is going out in it uh it's starting up and running uh to run for you know 20 minutes to an hour at max you know throughout the day and then as the engine heats up and that electronic inside uh just breaks down and then it's just a no crank from there um, on the trimmer line, this is steel uh, square line. This is, uh, you know, 95 size. Um, we are going to update the trimmer heads. These are steel um, easy load heads, but for the price of these, uh, we don't really like them. We are going to swap to the Echo 400s and the 420s uh, just because it's a little bit better made, a little bit easier, plus they hold a little bit more string. Um, for toolbox we have looked and looked and looked for toolboxes to match uh, i know that they've got the new green styles out and stuff like that but for the price that you pay for those folks it's not really honestly worth it yeah they're cool looking they're nice but you know what we went to lowe's this is a nice handy dandy craftsman toolbox um as you can see you know really good position that we put it in you know this is a truck mountable um, that's why it has this area, you know, you can mount it on a full-size truck But we actually got this bolted down to the trailer right here. This keeps all of our landscaping stuff for You know or most of it. I should say uh, this will be most of our daily stuff that we're going to use You know, I keep all of our leg coverings, hedge trimmers, chainsaw uh, Electronic tools and stuff, you know simple tools that we use when we go out and do some estimates uh, You know weed killers and such we've got another box in the truck too and so forth, but you know 90% of our stuff that we use on a daily is right here um, you know so this is a little bit more convenient and you know just just easier for us to use you know and even if we hook the truck uh, the trailer to a different truck then <laughs> at that point you know we still have majority of our landscaping stuff with us but guys this is pretty much how we got stuff set up uh, more to come like I said these uh, trimmer racks actually come from a local place um, in town with us these are actually come from uh, BJ Trailers, which anybody can pretty much fabricate these. But as you can see, uh, this stuff right here 
you know, it's starting to swell. I think a little bit of moisture is getting down in here and stuff like that. But we are going to update uh, these and go to uh, the newer style locking system. Um, but pretty much, this is what we have for today. Like I said, we're going to hop to the mower and uh, get this guy taken care of. We're on this beautiful uh, five acre place that we usually cut every week. Um, so just stay tuned, guys, for more videos. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to our channel, share us. Um, you know, tell a friend if you're local to us, Middle Tennessee area. Uh, be sure, you know, we'll post on social media and stuff like that. Comment uh, anything uh, that y'all want out there. Like I said, you know, and just let us know what we should add or what we don't have on the trailer, what would help us. Um, you know, and just, you know, friendly comments, please. Like I said, no, no negative stuff. But if you have anything negative to say, put it out there. We're not opposed to anything. Um, we just want to know what your feedback is. So see you guys. And we'll start mowing. <laughs>